Today on the Soap Thing Project, I'm going to do a soap from Denton Magic. You're going to get a little bit of Denton Magic action in your life today. We're going to use Himal, which is uh, a scent dupe, an inspired scent if you want to call it that, of Creed Himalaya, one of my all-time favorite niche fragrances. I don't own a bottle of Creed Himalaya, but I've smelled it in sample form quite a few times, and if I had any desire to spend that kind of money on a fragrance, that would be the first one I would probably buy. Now this soap is not currently in production over at Denton Magic, which makes me real sad and upset, but hey, I'll get over myself. But if it were in production, 2.5 ounces for about $10.99, definitely an A plus for packaging in my personal opinion. We have a glass container that is 2.5 ounces. Say what you want about Denton Magic. He definitely knows who his customer base is because he is not about that four or five ounce soap tub. He uh, chooses to uh, make smaller ones for those of us who have a lot of these. So we'll talk about the scent more during the shave. The after shave, since it's so freaking hot outside, is going to be the fine snake bite. You're going to be seeing a lot of this, like I said before. In one of my last videos, <laughs> you're going to be seeing a lot of this guy, that's for sure. You're also going to be seeing a lot of this, the Razorock Lupo 58. I think I'm going to binge on this for a while. This is a 0.58 millimeter blade gap with a little bit of positive exposure, 316 stainless steel made in Canada, and I have a second use feather blade in it. Whenever I have a uh, complete pack of blades, I always try to show you what those look like. But I do have a second use one in there. I'm trying to burn through loose blades that I have laying around. And the brush is going to be my Shave Mac 22mm Pearl White 2 Band Badger. So let's get all this together and let's do a shave. Alrighty then, got a little under two days of growth on the face, call it 40 hours. 
And here we have the Denton Magic Himal lathered into the Pereira Shavery Unbreakable Shaving Bowl. And I made a mess when I was lathering this. Okay, scent strength on this thing. This one uh, pushes out pretty far. I'm going to think this is... I'm, I'm, hmm. Where do I want to peg this? This is pushing out pretty far, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna peg this as a four out of five on the sniffometer. Just barely making it into the four out of five category, so plenty of sense strength to go around. Yeah, let's put it on. So I'm having kind of a goofy situation <laughs> going on in my house. So my house is made out of solid concrete. So whenever they came in and installed the internet, they put routers freaking everywhere in almost every room. So there's like five routers in the house plus the modem. Well, it's gotten to where uh, the signal, I guess, is stretched so thin <laughs> that if you're in one room using more than one device, then a router in another room will lose its signal. So I'm having these like router brownouts <laughs> through the house where it's like, I'm not getting signal in a certain room. And if you go from one room to the other, you kind of have to stand there for a minute and wait for the signal to reach the, reach the router and, and get the, uh, the internet light to come back on. <laughs> it's kind of, I'm not an internet expert, but I kind of figured out that the system is being overwhelmed just slightly. Okay. Is there menthol in this? Let me see. It doesn't say on the soap, but it definitely feels like there is. There's a little bit of a menthol kind of feel going on on the face. Here we have the Razor Rock Lupo 58 with a second use feather blade. Let's do a shave. Oh, here we go. Not too bad. Doing a great job of taking down a good 40 hours growth. I mean, with the Lupo 58, you can put almost anything you want in here for a blade and it's probably gonna be fine. I mean, some blades are just horrible and don't work well in, in a lot of razors, but this can usually handle most. Still give you a good shave. All right, let's talk about the scent of this. So like I said before, this is based on Creed Himalaya. And I can tell you from personal experience and smelling that actual scent, it is pretty close. About as close as you can expect to get in a shaving soap. It's got bergamot, grapefruit, Lemon, sandalwood, musk, ambergris, and cedar. So this scent is really soapy clean and musky and it's got this brisk and kind of crisp sort of facet to it. Which kind of fits the Himalaya theme that it is so named. I mean, the Denton Magic one literally has a snow-capped mountain on it, so that's definitely the the impression that they're trying to give you. It's a really refreshing scent. Um, 
One other artisan that I know of does this. That would be Sterling Ramblin' Man. Which is going to be slightly more available at this current time. At least at the time this is being filmed. But Denton Magic's version of it, I think, is a little bit better of a scent. It's a little closer, in my opinion, to... Uh, to Creed Himalaya. Although having said that, the Sterling version isn't that much different. And so if you were looking for a Creed Himalaya type scent, you're gonna be well served with that one. I'm hoping he releases this again at some point. Puts it back in his rotation somehow. Because this is a good one. This feels great on the face. There's got to be some kind of menthol or synthetic cooling agent in here. Because I highly doubt if just regular fragrance oils would do this. It's really fascinating how certain uh, certain scents, in the way that they're synthesized and uh, put together into a fragrance, can remind one of a place. Like I've never been to the Himalayas, but this it definitely makes sense that you would get this kind of smell. You know, it's like a, like chiseled face. You know, they tend to be able to create very authentic smelling scents. Uh, whether those scents are something you want to smell like or not <laughs> is a different matter, but they're definitely capable of doing, uh, doing really, really authentic smelling scents that really actually smell like the real thing. Like, I'm not sure why you'd want a scent that smells like dirty leather and and gun lube and motor oil, but you can get a, a scent that smells like that. Touching up a little bit under my chin and this part of my neck, which is the spot where I seem to need to do that a lot. Alright, let's have a rinsage. And that is good enough for me. That is a good enough shave for me. Let's do the fine accoutrements snake bite. I have a feeling this is going to pair quite well with the Denton Magic Himal. This is really a, just alcohol and menthol. There's not really much of a scent to it, but it feels like a million and a half bucks. Oh yeah. Whew. Definitely getting some chill sensation off of these two components put together. Oh man, menthol. I still think this has menthol in it. Like, it doesn't say anywhere on the tub. I mean, maybe it won't if it's only added for this particular scent. But, I mean, as long as I got it in my hand, I think I forgot to talk about the ingredients. It's got <laughs> a lot of shit in it. <laughs> Castor oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, lippy butter, tallow, capacity seed butter, cocum butter, mango butter, coconut milk, goat's milk, tosa silk, Greek yogurt, glycerin, and the kitchen sink. A lot of stuff in the Denton Magic shaving soaps. So I guess if I exhausted this to an empty tub and it was still available, would I buy this again? 
Oh, most definitely. In fact, uh, if it were between this and the same scent from another artisan in a larger container, I'm gonna buy this by default just because, hey, I'm a hobbyist, you know, and I stand a chance of, a better chance of burning through this and exhausting this to an empty tub than a four, five, even six ounce tub. So as long as he is cranking out soaps with scents that I enjoy, I'm, I'm gonna bite because I need the, the space saver containers, you know? All right, that's the shave for today. Questions, comments, put them in the comments section of the video. Otherwise, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.